Hello guys, David here and welcome to another video with David Southdoors. Today I'm going to show you guys a lot of stuff. I got my room all filled up here with outdoor gear and um, I'm going to uh, t uh, show you guys what you need for a winter trip. And by a winter trip I don't mean like winter in in California or something, I mean winter in Norway, Viking winter with snow and you know just, uh, just a really really cold and and the snowy winter on the mountains of Norway for example. So I'm going to show you all the gear I got on this reindeer skin here. Yeah this this is reindeer pure fur on like it's all together. The native people in Norway use this kinds of uh, of uh, reindeer skin, and they are really warm, and you know they keep you warm. So, if you are going on an overnight trip, I would highly recommend to have one of these reindeer skins because they protect you from the snow, and uh, they are really warm. Okay. This is a pair of goggles. These goggles uh, are being used in both for snowboarding and you know ski, those kinds of skiing. They are also great if you are in a snowstorm. And you know, when we walked home from our trip, uh, the the wind was blowing again against us, and we got lots of snow in our face and stuff. So if we had snow goggles, we would be able to see a lot easier instead of uh, have, uh, closing our eyes to protect them from the snow you could just walk like this and this would pr protect us but we didn't I didn't have um, I didn't bring this to the mountains that day so <laughs> that was pretty stupid for me but also the tools I use is my Grand Force Brooks axe for Scandinavian forest axe really big axe and you know, it is smart to have a big axe when you're on a winter trip because it's uh, a lot more hard to find to find the dry wood and stuff on the ground in the winter because it's usually a lot of snow, at least up here, so you won't be able to find dead trees on the ground. So you need to find um, trees that's uh, dead and uh, chop them down. So you know, and that that will be easier with a uh, with a big axe. And also, you'll need a knife. And uh, fire steel. That's good to have. Matches. First aid kit. A compass. In case you get lost, so you can see what the direction you should be walking in. Knife sharpener. And these, these are used for ice fishing actually. So if you fall through the ice, you just pull this out and uh, they are sharp. So you know, if you are maybe going out on the ice on your trip, this would be smart. I also got a tarp here, a big thick military tarp. So in a snowstorm you can pull this over you and uh, you'll be protected from the wind and snow. Something to put water in. And also something to cook water in. And coffee. It uh, is good to have some warm things to drink when you're out in the cold. And this is kind of eating it's army it's from the army so we can eat from this really smart oh smart <laughs> my voice is cracking yeah uh, you can also use this for cooking food on the fire and dry tinder I always carry a little bit of dry tinder uh, some birch bark is in this one because it's more hard to find dry birch bark in the winter and yeah uh, if it's like one to five minus degrees 
uh, out in the snow, it's usually pretty wet, but when it hits 10 to 15 minus degrees, everything will be a lot easier because then it will be more dry, the air will be uh, more dry and uh, the snow will be harder, so, you know, uh, it's a little bit colder, but still, it's better with colder than uh, warm uh, when you're out in the snow. If you're not going to go to have skis, snowshoes is a great thing, a great thing to use. This will make it a lot easier to walk on the snow. They are not that heavy, and uh, yeah, you know, a really good thing to have. And um, I think, yeah, another thing that's really important is to have a good backpack. If you are going to walk long in the winter, a long, long distance, it's very important to have a have a backpack who fits your back. And uh, also, on my backpack, I can I can um, put my skis in here. So I can carry my skis on the back, so that's a really great uh, thing to, to have, those ski carriers here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, uh, good if the backpack got a, a little bit of a bright color, so it will be easier to see in the dark or in a snowstorm. You know, it kind of sucks if you lose your backpack out in the snow. Always carry a head torch or a headlight like this, a lead lenser. Um, no matter if you are just going on a short trip and think you will be back before, uh, before the night, before it's dark. You never know, maybe you'll get stuck, maybe you'll um, get lost. A light is very important to have, and extra batteries. I got a sitting plate, always carry this. In, in case you're going to sit in wet snow. So, now we have uh, looked at the gear. So let's take a look at the clothing. In front of me here is the clothing I usually uh, have on me on a trip. And yeah, let's take a closer look. The first layer of clothing I use is wool, wool. Um, um, yeah, the the first layer uh, I use. This is uh, in, um, right outside my body. The first layer is uh, wool underwear, or you know, um, these are. Real long, look like pants. Look, uh, they are pretty tight, and they will keep you wor warm. Warm. Um, yeah, we we say in Norway that ull is gul. Now ull is gul. That means translated from Norwegian to English, wool is gold. But it rhymes and sounds more fancy in Norwegian, of course. And um, sometimes I need two layers of this. Uh, to stay warm, but don't don't use anything else than wool when that's when it's really cold. Uh, you know, like don't use any other underwear that than wool because wool is a lot warmer than other things. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh, when it's wet. You when it's wet, it's um, warm. So yeah, wool is just fantastic. Okay, for the second layer, I use this wool sweater. It is a little bit thicker than the other one, more warm, and it looks it looks pretty cool. It's traditional uh, and warm, and also made by 100% wool. And then I got my my pants. I usually wear pants like this in the forest. Uh, this, I got, uh, I got two like woodsman pants. That's what I, what I call them, and uh, they they can be dirty. You can have mud on, the, on them and stuff, and they won't be. You know, I usually don't wash this. 
I only use them in the woods and uh, they are they got more pockets and stuff. So I uh, I always carry my knife here on this in this belt. And yeah, that was the second layer. And now the third layer really important this uh, stuff here. A thick jacket. This jacket is so thick and it's really warm. You can see on the the hood here. This this is not real fur. It's only it's not not real from a real animal, but still it's warm and I really like this jacket. It's so cozy and warm. And also it's important to have a warm hat like this. This that, that's not real fur either. It's not from real animals, but it's still warm. And at least two pairs of uh, gloves to keep your hands warm. Okay, so this jacket got got some pockets with the zippers. That's important so you don't lose your stuff, your gear and stuff. Stands written outdoor here. Yeah. Also, I wear pants. I usually got some thicker stuff than this, more thick and warm. But uh, they are too small now, so I'm just using this. But I have to buy myself some new. This is like I don't know if you guys use this a lot in other countries, but we use them all the winter in Norway. So it's like not regular pants, but it's pants as thick as the jacket. We call them call them uh, outdoor pants. And uh, yeah, they are they should be waterproof. So you don't get wet when you're sitting in the snow, and uh, they should uh, they should be a little bit thicker than this one, so you stay warm out in the cold weather. And also something really important is the shoes. Dad found these shoes on sale uh, this autumn, so it's Sorel. Waterproof carry bow or something shoes. If you see a picture of a polar bear on your shoes, you know that it's this is real warm stuff. <laughs> so yeah, they are waterproof. They are real warm. They are big, so I can get uh, many pairs of uh, wool socks. Socks, and yeah, I also always have uh, wool socks. At least two pairs of wool socks. And you can see. This is really warm stuff, great shoes, really important because it ain't fun to freeze on your, to have cold uh, toes. Yeah, remember, warm clothes, it's better to have too much clothing on you, uh, so you can take them off if you are too warm, then less, then uh, less clothing on you, so, and you can't take anything on if you are getting cold and also uh, you know remember that a bushcraft uh, trip in the winter everything will be more hard everything you know just walking to your where your camp is going to be will be a lot more hard uh, but if, uh, if you get, got skis it might be a little bit easier and because you know skis are really they are really good to have and you can you just walk up on the snow and the same with the snowshoes a great thing and making fires will be harder finding dry firewood will be a lot harder setting up your camp staying warm yeah so be careful and uh, enjoy the outdoors.